All right, I want to go through a few quick things about this strange concept called logarithms. It's something you've probably never even heard before. You, uh, you may not know anything about them, but they're actually related to exponentials. So exponentials are where you say something like two to the third power is eight. That's a statement about exponents. Two raised to the third power is eight. Well, logarithms are another way to say the same thing. So you write this L-O-G, and sometimes we call these logs instead of using the word logarithm all the time. And the base is the number we put right down here, and that's called the base of the logarithm also. So we have log base two, and then what I need you to remember is that answers to logarithms are exponents. Answers to logarithms are exponents. So the exponent goes over here. That must mean the eight goes there. So this is called exponential form. This is called logarithmic form, or log form. Log base two of eight is three. That's a fact. Now, um, let's do another one. Log base three of nine would be what? I guess the question would be, what exponent are we looking for here? The base is the base. So three to the what power is nine? And the answer here, of course, is, I'm sure you're saying it to yourself, right? Two. 3 squared is 9. Let's try another one. Log base 5 of 125 would be what? And you can actually do this without a calculator if you know how many 5s does it take to get to 125. And the answer is 3. It takes 3. And that's because 5 to the third power is 125. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this and we'll keep going. All right, here I've reset things. I've got the log, and then there's no base there anymore of 100. Well, I, I put this up here because sometimes there is no base there, so we actually all understand, in fact, you will hear shortly, that the base must be 10. Base 10, we're a base 10 uh, universe pretty much, so base 10, is the invisible number there. So then log base 10 of 100 would be, you just ask yourself, 10 to the what power is 100? And the answer would be two. 10 squared is 100. Now, sort of a, a different topic I wanna go over is this change of base formula. And the reason we need this formula is because if you go to your calculator, you cannot type this in. You can't type it in because it it is uh, your calculator can only do base 10. So there's this nifty little formula you can do. It's called the change of base formula. And you can create a fraction out of this. And the way I remember is the base goes down low, like base down below here. We put L-O-G of any base we want. And we're going to pick 10 because our calculator can do that. And we're going to put a 2 here. So log base two of eight is the same thing as, and then up top we put L-O-G log base 10 of eight. And if you type this in your calculator, you have an L-O-G button there and a log button, you can type that in, log eight. Make sure you close your parentheses on, on that eight, hit divide by log of two, and it's going to say, well, let me ask you this, two to the what power is eight? It should say three. So I want you to practice that in your own calculator and make sure you understand how to type something like this in a calculator. You have to do the change of base formula. You have to change it to log 8 divided by log 2, and then you can actually get your calculator to come out with the answer here. All right, so let me know if you have any questions. See me in class, and good luck with logarithms.